This week, we're going to talk about nervous system anatomy. Now, you may say, we've already done that. Um, we have done some. Um, we remember two weeks ago, we talked about the basics of the CNS and PNS, the components introduced you to brain nuclei, tracts, ganglia, what a nerve is. Um, we're going to go into more detail on that and also talk about more specifics in terms of brain regions, um, cross section of the spinal cord. So anatomy of the nervous system incomplete versus we did kind of an overview and then we jumped into action potentials and what neural signaling. Um, we jumped there quickly after kind of introducing the nervous system. So we're going back to the anatomy. Um, it is an overview of the brain, the spinal cord at the central nervous system and the peripheral nervous system. Um, this is not a semester long course in neuroanatomy. So we are going to be covering it in um, very superficially, not in a lot of detail. Your book has a little bit more detail if you want to know more. And in the future, you could take a course in um, neuro anatomy and neuroscience and learn a whole lot more. After this week, we're going to talk about the somatic nervous system and then the autonomic nervous system, then sensory special senses. So those three the last three components after this week, all are gonna use the anatomy we know. Um, so that's when we get to apply it, um, which I think is always more helpful. So I'll try to give you some like, some teasers of like, you know, where we're, where we're how this stuff is gonna matter. But this week is a little bit more of an overview. Um, what brain regions do what? We're then going to see kind of like some motor pathways um, or sensory pathways. Um, and see those brain regions again and spinal cord regions and how the nerves function um, in the future. So start this week after I just said with this learning check. So A and B here, add those in. Oh. And then we'll do a brief introduction. So, oh, my drawer is not working. A and B. Okay, so here we saw a similar picture to this um, two weeks ago or so. We've got the central nervous system. This is the brain and the spinal cord. Those are the physical two main components that make up the central nervous system. The peripheral nervous system is made up of these groups of cell bodies called ganglia and nerves. Peripheral nerves is another term for this, either spinal nerves or cranial nerves. These two separate systems are very interconnected. So for example, the cell bodies of um, motor nerves are in the central nervous system. So Let's go with um, a motor nerve that's in your brain that controls your tongue. Kind of simplified there. This would be a bundle of axons, um, a cranial nerve. In the periphery, let's just draw an example. It would be the cell body in this, um, the spinal cord and let's say it goes out to your deltoid, right? This would be a spinal nerve, would be a group of them, right? A group of these axons. The cell bodies of these peripheral nerves are in the central nervous system. So peripheral nervous system, central nervous system are separate, but not really physically, right? Because it's all, um, usually neurons have some connection to each place. The other example is sensory. So let's say we are sensing something in your deltoid. So here are um, sensory receptors, tactile receptors that are going to travel, send information um, to the brain and via the spinal cord. So there's a synapse. Here is a unipolar neuron 
sensory. Um, the peripheral nerve here, this peripheral sensory nerve made up of multiple axons, synapses in the central nervous system. Okay. Most cell bodies in the nervous system are in the, the central nervous system. So the brain and spinal cord both contain cell bodies. We've mentioned already that can either be called nuclei in the brain or horns. We'll see those both more this week. And they also contain axons, right? We have to have connection um, between different neurons, interneurons, as well as information coming in, going out. These are called tracks or columns, and we'll see those more this week as well. The one exception to those cell bodies being in the central nervous system is the ganglia, only exception. Um, ganglia are cell bodies in the PNS. The rest of the PNS is axons, bundles of axons, groups of axons. Okay. Then what happens in the brain and spinal cord is a whole bunch of processing, right? These interneurons are going to talk to each other. There's all these pathways to decide decision making, emotion, um, integration is what's going to happen in the central nervous system. As simple as a knee jerk reflex is a type of integration, an autom auto automatic, it's not autonomic, the knee jerk reflex. Um, Kick, that, that automatic kick is a simple type of integration. Integration can also be much more complex. Think about all the processing that has to happen to catch the ball. And yeah, just, just even that, right? Um, yeah. Okay, so we're gonna be talk, start this week by talking about the central nervous system and specifically the brain. So we'll start there, brain, then we'll do spinal cord. Um, we will talk less in detail because functions a lot simpler um, about the PNS. So we'll talk about both ganglia and nerves. Um, nerves actually get pretty complex. They branch into plexus and rami. And um, so we'll, we'll talk a little bit about that, but we'll spend less time on that material. Okay, that's this week. <laughs>